As you probably know, we measure the length of a day by how long it takes for the Earth to rotate once on its axis, which is about 24 hours. But sometimes the days get a little longer because we add what's called a leap second. But what is a leap second and why do we need it? This is Leap Second 101. A leap second helps make sure that the clocks we use to measure time and the actual rotation of the Earth stay as closely in sync as possible. We do this because throughout the year, the speed of the Earth's rotation changes ever so slightly. It can be sped up or slowed down by natural geological events like earthquakes and volcanoes. So when our measurement of time is thrown off by Earth's rotation slowing down, we have to account for it somehow, and adding a leap second is one way to do it. When the International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service, yes, this is a real thing, predicts that the difference in Earth's rotation and our clocks will be off by 0.9 seconds, a leap second is added to the day. The leap second is announced almost six months in advance so that everyone has time to prepare. By adjusting our clocks like this every few years, we are able to more closely match the world's standard measurement of time with the natural changes of the Earth's rotation. But this slight change can actually be a really big deal if the computer systems that we all rely on aren't properly programmed to handle it. When a leap second was added in 2012, it caused some web pages to crash, a few GPS receivers failed, and airline passengers were left stranded because entire airline booking systems failed. Since 1971, more than two dozen leap seconds have been added. But that doesn't mean the days are now longer. It just means that the day on which the leap second was added was one second longer. Many of us might miss it because it's so quick, but this and all the other small shifts from leap seconds will keep us on track and on time on a planetary level.